I'll go back, intrepid viewers. Last time, I gave an interesting exit and blow up a cannon. Now I'm off on a mission to... Oh! Fragment! Fragment! I've become obsessed with finding these random glowy fragment things everywhere. For some reason they're important. I got one of two fragments. Oh, okay. Which means one day I will come back for the... Oh, wait, no, there it is. It's in the tree over there. Okay. You know what? Ignore my last statement I was about to make. I'm not going to hurt you people! I came for the bad guys. I gotta jump off the building. Okay. The story of the fragments. They appeared in the pirate world one day. When suddenly, one man was brave enough to jump on them and pick them up. With each fragment, the man discovered that his world was not his own. In fact, it was as if he was in a virtual animated world. This man was Captain Pissoff. But everyone else called him Kenway for some strange reason. What's that? It's a monkey! Come here, glowy thing! <sighs> Captain Pissoff needs you. I got a... something. Okay. Oh! I see! I captured the music so that people could sing it! Oh, I understand. So where am I supposed to be going? Oh, I'm not even supposed to be on the island. I'm supposed to sail somewhere else. Oh, okay. That makes as much sense as anything. Where is it? There it is! Magic boat! Take me to my ship! And now I'm in a hurry. What happens if I shoot that? I blew things up for no real reason. Other than the fact that I just felt like doing it. Travel speed. I'm off to start a mission. In the sun. They're singing more songs. Okay, I probably want to go on the other side of the rocks. And down for the ride of something. Gents, thank you for your time. I am going ashore. Whee! Captain's gone crazy. He heard the singing and he's gone insane. Now he's going to the island because there's no pain. He's captain, captain. Hello, birdie bird. I'm here to synchronize. Hello, my boat. I can see you over there. You're in a good position there, are you not? Yes? No? Okay. Alright then. And now, run back down the tree that I just climbed up. Because it's easier than jumping and going for a swim again. I'm gonna go get me this chest over here. Hello, chest. Thank you, chest. Now, I'm off to go to the... Ah! Pretty sure shooting deer gets me things. I should have shot it sooner. Dang it. Why is it I not so good at hunting? 
Yes! Skin me a deer, make me a new thing. Hello, hidden chest. You are now in possession of me. Thank you for the money and the bullets that was in. But now I go to the chest hidden. And I head towards the area where... So a deer go this way before. There it goes. Only be as hex those things jump high. Oh look, it's a turtle. It's Jerry and Melanie. Jerry and Melanie have been living there for 300 years. I could shoot them and end Jerry and Melanie's life. But I'm not going to, because I don't need to do that just yet. Because I have been tempted by Barry the deer. Barry the deer over there is going to give me some sort of upgrade. I remember reading somewhere that I needed two deer things or something. So, I'm on the hunt for Barry the, for Barry the deer. I feel like saying Barry the ball. Oh! There goes Barry. Which means that this must have been his neighbor, John. Now, don't feel so bad about John, because John was a bit of a dick. So, he kind of deserved to die. So it's okay. Now, apparently I can upgrade some stuff. No uh, outfit things. I can upgrade cloaks and stuff. Pistol sets. No, that's not it. How do I do that again? Crafting. That's it. Oh, it's a health thing. Two deers and I upgrade my health. That's what I was doing. I knew it was something useful. I need whale to upgrade the guns. And then crocodile. Okay. Jaguar and White Shark. Pig. Oh, okay. So I don't need turtle. And I will take this treasure map. What have you got to show me, good sir? Where will I find this treasure map? It's near a windmill. No way near where I am. Again. Ugh. One day I should check these maps and figure out what's going on. Excuse me. I want to talk to the, the dude that sounds like a chick. Here's to our pirate republic, lads. Ah, uh, pirate republic. Prosperous and free and out the reach of kings, clergy and debt collectors. <laughs> debt collectors. Five hundred men like now pledge men. their allegiance to the brethren of the coast in Nassau. Not a bad number. Ruth. Yet we lack sturdy defenses. If the king were to attack the town, he'd trample us. Then let us find the observatory. If it does what these Templars claim, we'll be unbeatable. Not that twaddle again, can we? Yes, twaddle! It's a story for schoolboys. That's why we have the twaddlingness of twaddles. I mean, proper defenses. Steal a galleon, shift all the guns to one side. Make a nice ornament for one of our harbors. It will not be easy to steal a full Spanish galleon. Have you one in mind? I do, sir. And I'll show you. She's a fussock, she is. Fat and slow. A fussock. <laughs> this guy's a tad crazy. I like him, though. He's, he's crazy in a good way, not crazy in like a. Wait. Locate the L something rather. Oh, okay. Magic teleport to ship. Your jackdaw handles nice. Pinched her from the Spanish, was it? Aye. In the midst of a hurricane. Just before the treasure fleet was smashed against the shore. Was the hall aboard as rich as men are saying? A thousand times that. I reckon a million pounds with the reality sunk that day. Devil! Love! I reckon. Might have a dive there one day. See what we can rummage up. Diving them wrecks would be a nice change of pace for us. Uh, wind. For violent actions against merchants and such. Well, that's some soft talk coming from a pirate. 
And as it happens, I must agree. We'll save the clashing of cutlasses for the military. And them that get in our way. Ah. Uh -huh. Well, I think it's a good time as ever while I'm on the open ocean to end it here. So, this is the end of part 24. Tune in next time. Till then, this is Inhuman Grunt, signing off. <laughs>